Welcome to Motoshi Harp Explore. My name is Motoshi Kosako, harpist, composer, improviser. Through this video series, I would like to share interesting cutting edge frontier of harp playing with you. Um, this week, um, I would like to show uh, the idea of using left hand uh, playing uh, consistent bass line, like uh, patterns, bass patterns, and then right hand playing the improvisation. And another technique I would like to share is uh, tapping the sounding board, like percussion. So these two techniques together, actually, you can create a very strong, so to speak, rhythm section on your solo performance, as if bassist and drummer is playing with you. So uh, the piece I would like to use for uh, this lecture is Idle Talk which is my another original composition and the uh, rhythm pattern is based on the calypso it's kind of a uh, very danceable uh, cheerful uh, rhythm patterns uh, chord progression on this song is very simple but requires very consistent uh, groove um, and rhythmic uh, patterns uh, both on the left hand and right hand so uh, I hope uh, you enjoy this video. So on this piece, um, we're gonna follow the pattern, rhythm pattern of a calypso, but this concept can be applied to any rhythm, like a funk or samba or something like that. But uh, let's see uh, how I play the bass for this song. Uh, this is uh, uh, actually called progression for most part of the piece. So it's very simple. And rhythm pattern is uh, written uh, underneath, and also little alphabet is the note I'm playing. So rhythm is like one, two, three, four, ta 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 So uh, we have to keep the tempo and the rhythm uh, very accurately, otherwise uh, we lose the groove, basically. So let me play at the bass line. One, two, three, four. And then probably some of you hate to practice with the metronome. But I think it's very important. You can tell if you have a control on your uh, tempo or not, if you practice with the metronome. So I highly recommend to practice this kind of bass line with a metronome. One, two, three, four. And then uh, right hand uh, goes like this on this piece. Something like this. And then a theme comes, an improvisation. So basically, uh, this type of music, I'm trying to uh, keep the bass line uh, always the same. I mean, you can change a little bit, but uh, basically pretty much the same. It's as if the bassist is playing the same patterns. But actually, repetition of the same thing has its own uh, charm. Also, give, give us kind of comfort. And then um, also, especially this is a dance kind of music. So, same rhythm pattern make us feeling like to dance with it. So... And then your right hand makes the music more interesting because bass line is the same, but you can change right hand. Like a, when you play chord, like a... or you can play very fast phrase. And then, uh, the middle of the piece, I have a little bit a different uh, rhythm pattern comes. 
uh, F to E flat sevens, and then the rhythm goes like this: one, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. So you have lots of space because you have a whole note. Uh, so it's, it goes like this: one, two, three, four. And you can do the filling here, right? And then go back to the first pattern. And also, this space after E flat sevens is really great part, great place to put some drum solo. So I tap the instrument uh, on the surface of this uh, soundboard. Sometimes I see a classical harpist uh, tapping the soundboard like this. Make a little fist and kind of probably using this part of their finger and then knocking like this. But this is, for me, it's ridiculous because <laughs> No percussionist play percussion like this. So use your arm or finger like a whip, which, which create a lot of, uh, how do you call it, force. And also at the same time, very crisp, subtle uh, rhythm. If you can use uh, your hands and then arms relaxed. Mm -hmm. So what I do is usually um, two ways. And most of the time I use just thumb. So this part, side part of thumb, is like a head of the drumstick. So, and then how I hit the soundboard is not like this. It's more like I, I turn my wrist this way. We you usually playing like this, and then leave the strings and going down to the soundboard, and then it's already. Going down sound boy, you're using this wrist motion already. So it's like a going uh, moving back to the uh, plucking position of the hands, and then you just flap down to the to the soundboard. Okay, here, like this. So like one, two, three, four. So this is like a one to three, four, one to three, four, one to three, four, one to three, four. But you can go faster. Uh, like that. So something like this. If you your thumb land closer to the strings, more like a resonating sound. If you if you move your thumb closer to the edge, different sound. Also, if you go lower. different sound. So uh, this is one way you can use. And another way is you can use also the fingers, like uh, usually uh, index and um, middle finger and ring finger together. In that case, actually, uh, um, it's like a percussionist, a hand percussionist play hand this way. Relax your arm and then what you have to do is try not to hit the soundboard directly because sound ball is very thin piece of wood so you don't want really hit hard on the sound ball instead kind of trying to uh, hit the frame this part like uh, between the first and second joint of fingers and the fingertip land a little bit of fingertip land on the sound ball So, so if you use a sound, sounds like this. So it's different sound. So either way, it's okay, but you need to be able to control the tone. So my experience. Some thumb is easier to control, but uh, of course you can 
Studio and use both and mix up. These are two primary techniques I'm using uh, for this music. And the title is Idol Talk. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoy. Thank you. 